I am Dr. Kavita Chintala, Clinical Director and Senior Pediatric International Cardiologist at Care Hospitals, Hyderabad. In my 20 years of following children with congenital heart disease, a very frequent question I am asked is, why did this happen to my child? It's a very genuine and relevant question and it's only natural for parents to try and understand why this happened to their child. In this brief video, I will tell you why some of the causes behind heart defects. Unfortunately, in many individual cases, we may not be able to identify a single cause for the heart defect, but in general, there are three different reasons why there may be a heart defect. One is a genetic, underlying genetic problems, environmental problems, and maternal causes. In any case, usually they are multifactorial, meaning in about 85% of cases, the cause is more than a single cause. Among the genetic reasons, it may either be a defect in the number of genes or a defect in a single gene. Given the fact that there is a heavy influence of genetics on congenital heart disease, it is natural that the recurrence risk will be there for these families. Meaning when there is a child with heart disease or there is a parent with heart disease, either the mother or father, or there is a first degree relative with heart disease, then the risk of this child having heart disease is higher. So this is one of the risk factors. The second is the environmental reasons. The environmental pollution, which may be air pollution with different gases and chemicals, the vehicle emissions and particulate matter is also a risk factor. Apart from this, water pollution with uh, chemicals such as arsenic and lead can increase risk of heart disease. And uh, also the pesticide exposure with, which we see with vegetables and fruits is also reported to cause some increase in congenital heart disease. Apart from the environment and the genes, there are some maternal reasons why the baby that the mother is carrying may be at increased risk. Maternal diseases like the very common diabetes mellitus that we are seeing at an increased rate among pregnancy, phenylketonuria, epilepsy in the mother and certain connective tissue diseases in the mother can increase the risk of heart disease in the child. In addition, when we have a mother that is taking uh, over-the-counter medications, meaning, you know, without consulting a doctor, the, the self-medications or the mother is uh, exposed to alcohol or there is smoking either among the mother or the father during pregnancy and exposure to illicit drugs can all increase the risk for heart disease. Of late, the concern is we are seeing a rise in heart disease in mothers with obesity. Those mothers who are overweight or have a high body mass index also have an increased risk. And also there is increased risk when there is an assisted reproductive technology used as a means of pregnancy. So these are the three major factors. And as I mentioned, in an individual uh, situation or an individual family, we may not be able to identify but uh, the, they are multifactorial about 85% of the time. But we need to take care of uh, some of the factors that are in our control to be able to prevent these heart diseases. Thank you.